Oh, oh! Hi guys, I am back. You are back. We are back with another episode of Conversation Skirt. All right, so this will be the final episode of this season as school will be starting in a bit. But no, do not worry. Tranquilo, tranquila. That doesn't mean I won't be making conversation videos anymore. As I said, it's just the final episode for this first season. So it's just a season. We'll be going back in a bit. I will still be creating content, but they won't just be for conversations and they won't be as intensive as this series has been. All right, I recently celebrated my birthday and my best friend gave me this. This is a more, but yeah. Gave me this tiny box. It's got my name on top. It says here to read it when I feel restless, anxious, or discouraged. So that's pretty random, but actually no, it's not. Looking back on the beginning of the series, I mentioned how being under quarantine kind of messed with my head and that I know I'm not the only one who went or is still going through this. Routines were changed, plans were cancelled, we felt immobilized and mental health has become more important now than ever in my existence anyway. The things I'm about to talk about, some of which are answers to questions I got on Instagram, I've discussed them with my mom. So they've been drizzled with her wisdom, which she's, she has been so blessed with by the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, these things are what we know to be effective based on our own experiences and because they are what the Word of God says. Now, let's get to it! As I said, mental health has become so important today. You can see so many people talking about it online. The difference between our generation and my mom's generation is that back then, it was a lot less talked about because they would actually go out to play or to socialize. Unlike now, because of our generation's longing for attention, mm, which I believe is true because of social media. Now, social media makes or allows you to stay home and see a world that's not real. Although in a literal sense, there's nothing wrong with seeing the world out there through social media, which is great because I love traveling and miss it so much. So I basically just like travel through social media. But the essence of social media, which is really to connect people, is somewhat already lost because it does tend to feel like a war zone out there. Who has better hair? Who has more followers? Who has met who? I know it still connects people because I've met amazing people on them whom I can't wait to meet in person when this whole thing blows over. But it's already been mixed with a lot of other stuff that people don't realize are already eating them up, which I will dive into a little bit more in a while. In line with being under quarantine, someone asked, how to escape when travel is your escape which i can really relate to because as i said i absolutely love traveling and i do miss it and i've got the same question so how this is what my mom said plan the travel i used to struggle with planning but now i find that planning gives me something to be excited for or to look forward to because I almost easily feel jaded or bored. So just make sure that you plan your travels and make sure that you travel after all this hula blue, which is what <laughs> my mom said. Or you could also do things that you haven't done yet, but you've always wanted to do. Like what I'm doing now, I'm trying to be a little bit more active on YouTube. Or discovering or rediscovering your hidden talents just so that you have an escape moving on now i know doing all these things will fill our minds and keep us busy but there are moments when we just lose our peace of mind 
and we look everywhere and do everything, look to everyone to try to get it back. But the thing is, we shouldn't mind our peace. Meaning, let me finish, don't think about it too much. That is trying to get peace. Sometimes in pursuit of peace, you just add stress to your life. Wait, let me finish. This is when resting in the Lord comes in. Rest in the fact that He loves you. Don't worry and just anchor your thinking. Set your mind on things above. Jesus loves you so you can trust Him and just completely rest in Him because He will take care of you. So you have no peace of mind because you fear that you won't be at peace. The bottom line, guys, is fear. For example, you worry that you won't be able to pay your bills. If you're a believer, it's as if you're not believing that God is your provider. Or not exactly not believing, but like maybe you've forgotten that God is your provider. So it's important for you to know who God is and who you are to Him. You feel alone? Remember that He is Emmanuel. He is with you. Know and hear His word. Ask Him what His word is for you in a day. Then meditate on that. I've got a couple of verses that I place in my reminder, so I'm just reminded about them every day. And they just freshen up my mind whenever I see them in the morning and it changes my whole day and my outlook on that day. It could be a verse in the Bible app or a simple quote that you see on Instagram. As I mentioned, God speaks to you in different ways and go by the Spirit. It's a personal thing, you know, through a personal personal relationship with God. This is why we have to be careful who we listen to and what we watch what we allow to enter our minds, who we follow, and especially because of the existence of social media. So, someone said on my Instagram poll that whenever dark thoughts, we're moving on, pop in their head, they feel intrigued and like it, even though they don't like it. So they do know that these thoughts are wrong. My mom said that it's the devil, yo. I mean, he's trying to mess with you because he knows that God has amazing plans for you and your life. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. You have the power to do that because you have the power, the spirit of Christ in you. You don't have to be intrigued. You don't need to touch fire to know that it will burn your hand, right? When you see fire, you don't touch it and like it. So don't wait until you realize that you're already burning. Fear is a spirit. And remember that God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. I love you guys. I just want you to know this, okay? Okay, speaking of which, I've been seeing posts on Instagram and Twitter talking about toxic family members. My mom's response to this was, Shake it off, shake it off. She didn't sing it though, I just had to add that. Okay. That's why you need to work on establishing your identity so that you won't be shaken no matter what people say about you. Bottom line in this part is identity. Sometimes relatives are just jealous, really. Don't let anyone dictate your identity. You should know who and whose you are. That latter part is important. This is why a child must be trained up in the way he should go. I know we're all still young. I mean, most of my viewers are still young, but just keep that in mind for your future when you already have children. Good parenting is important, yes, but just because you have bad parents doesn't mean that you can't be strong on your own. So I would like to give a shout out to all my strong, independent friends out there. I adore and admire you. Mwah! That is it. Thank you guys for staying tuned to conversations. If you're here, thank you very much since the beginning. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for all your support. This isn't the end of my series conversations. I'm just taking things slow a little bit because school is coming up so work is piling up and i'm part of two organizations 
But anyway, I love you all. I'll see you soon. Peace.